Welcome everybody. Today we're going to talk about the balance patch. So I'm not going to go through the whole list. If you want to go through the whole list, there are lots of other YouTubers out there have put out the whole list. I'm just making a small summary. So the most important ones, I'm talking about more of the PvE side. Uh, yeah, because the grinding side, they made us big difference on the grinding side. They buffed few wind units that we should think about building. So the homunculus, the wind one especially, they made his stats that he hit with the enemy's max HP, the wind homunculus. So right now I'll be thinking that I might change my homunculus named Sasuke. Maybe I will change this element to wind so I can farm better for uh, yeah my runes. Yeah, I can farm better. But not only the wind homunculus, they also changed the wind harpy. So I'm not sure if I have a wind harpy, but if you don't have, it's time to build a wind harpy. Yeah. Where is she? Here. Prelia. Okay. Let's take a look if we have the wind harpy because we're going to look at the skills soon But I want to see if we have one prelia. I'm not I'm sure I haven't built any because there was no need to build a one But if we have one we're going to build her right away on all my both accounts my main and my Yes, we have ten we have ten meaning we can skill her up Awaken her Everybody out there who don't have a consistent Giants uh, Abyss hard team or they are transitioning from normal to hard build Prelia Make your homunculus wind if Yeah, make it wind if you don't really need the other elements if you need the other elements for other purposes it's on you. Uh, for 2A, I can use other units in replacement so I don't struggle in that situation. Okay, let's look at the skill changes of those two units because I think these are the mo two most important things. I know there have been changes and nerfs to other units, but like I said, uh, I feel like these are the two main things I concern with the most. Okay, let's take a look. Homunculus Wind. Before... Disturbs HP recovery with a 50% chance. Now, defense break for two turns with 30% chance. And the same thing with the Shocky Ray. I think it's just multiple skills. You know, the Humunculus build has multiple skills because one is the enchant version, one is the one when you haven't grind that the ability. Okay. Now, uh, Shock Ray Destroy. Um, yeah, before was attacks the enemy, disturb HP recovery with a 50% chance, and destroys HP of the damage dealt on 30%. Change to damage deal to the enemy's max HP. Every skill they did the same thing. Every skill. Actually, this is the whole thing they did with the Winter Mongolus. Any skill, what was it in the past, changed to enemies, max HP. And that's how you beat the giant. And when we go to Harpy Wind, if, first of all, all numbers of tech change from 1 to 2. Chances to defense break from 50% to 45%. So, um, it has a higher chance when it takes twice. So, she can defense break more. Um, Beer Hunt. Effect added uh, guaranteed to defense break on the enemy is immune to stun. So the giant's boss is immune to stun. So the wind humpy is going to guarantee to defense break the giant. There's no resistance over there and the mid boss as well. And then we have the wind happy change here again. Awakening effect changes. 25% accuracy. We wouldn't ever needed that accuracy because you have better uh, leader skills change to uh, skill strengthen 
so she would defense break, attacking the enemy twice. So everybody, there are lots of other units got changed about the balance patch, but we are just talking about the change for the Abyss giant boss. Yeah. So I'm going to build up Prelier on my main, on my um, alt. Hope you do it as well. You can do both of them or you just do the homunculus or if you want, you needed your homunculus for specific content like TOA and you can't really fight without him even though he's not really needed for your TOA hard team. Um, build Prelia is a must. It's like a must, yeah. Or, or you have it already built for some whatever reason. Now you can use it. Anyway, that's also a short video about the balance patch changes for grinding. Anyway, that's it with the video. Thanks for watching and bye.